This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Before we begin, please silence your phones and find the nearest exit. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Get My Way Free Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Now, as we tape this, Mm -hmm. the summer movie onslaught is imminent. Imminent, yes. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. First off, by the time you see this, Mm -hmm. Captain America Civil War will have made a kajillion dollars. Yes. Early reviews say it might be the best Marvel film so far. And, you know, everybody's going to be comparing it to... Batman v Superman, yeah. which is you know terrible and <laughs> yeah. did bad at the box office. Yeah. So I'm sure Marvel will have another winning summer this year. I'm guessing. Moving on then to May 20th, The Nice Guys, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe in an action comedy from Shane Black, who directed Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Iron Man 3. You know, just kind of a generic action flick. Yeah. Neighbors 2, uh, also on May 20th. More frat humor from Seth Rogen. But, you know, I've heard people whose taste in movies I respect yeah. say that the first Neighbors was actually kind of good. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe mm-hmm. it wasn't that. Maybe it was a different movie I'm thinking of. Maybe. I don't know. The Angry Birds movie, also on May 20th. The huge international hit of 2013. Yes. They really, really... Missed the boat on this one. Look, Hollywood, you can't make a movie based on an ephemeral game or a meme because by the time you get it done, the meme in, or game has long since been... It's like, that's what my dad played was Angry Birds. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Nobody plays Angry, <laughs> Angry Birds, Birds anymore. anymore. <laughs> Moving on to May 27th and Alice Through the Looking Glass. This mm-hmm. is the sequel to the trippy Johnny Depp vehicle. Mm-hmm. Also, May 27th, X-Men Apocalypse. The whole gang is back with Jennifer Lawrence now getting top billing, which she didn't get in the first one. I'm kind of thinking, wasn't the last X-Men that came out, like, much later in the summer? Uh, I think it may have been. Yeah. Yeah. They really moved this up. They have Mm -hmm. pretty high hopes for it, putting it in May. Warcraft. (laughs) uh, That'll be June 10th. Eventually, someone's going to make a hit movie based on a video game. Could this be the one? Uh, no. (laughs) June 17th, Finding Dory. Finally, we get the sequel to Finding Nemo after 13 years. It's been Mm -hmm. 13 years since that first movie came out. Ellen DeGeneres will reprise her voice. That'll be a huge success as well, I'm sure. Oh, no question. Yes. It goes up against Central Intelligence. It sounds very fancy, doesn't it? Well, it's not, because it's just another dumb buddy cop shoot 'em up with The Rock and Kevin Hart. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll probably do well. Oh, it'll, it'll do well, I'm sure. Oh, this next one. No. <laughs> Independence Day Resurgence. June 24th. <laughs> they got the band back together. But not Will Smith. No. No. <laughs> and I think it's very telling that this is not opening July 4th weekend. Yeah. <laughs> that they're like... We're going to shy away from that. Yeah. (laughs) But opening for July 4th weekend, on July 1st, The Legend of Tarzan. Again? Yes. This is uh, live action, not animated. Yes, it is. Yes. Newsflash Hollywood, your potential movie audience has no idea who he is. Well, some of them do because they saw Tarzan the Disney movie. (laughs) Well, they're too old for that. They're thinking that... Yeah, they're, but they grew up with that. They're so, teenagers. So they saw that when they were a kid, so they think, oh, it's the live-action remake of that, not, you know. It's like, who's next? Tom Mix? I mean, you can't keep going back to the 20s and 30s for characters that you think you can make relevant again. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Then we have, on also on July 1st, BFG, I don't understand. How can they make a movie about the gun from Doom? No, no, I mean, no, 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 Mark. No? No. No? No. no. Oh, it's, it's not a, that? It's a Roald Dahl book. Oh. It's big, friendly, giant. Oh. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And apparently directed by Steven Spielberg. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My mistake. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I, I, I missed, got the wrong reference for that. <laughs> Also July 1st, The Purge, election year. And they got three movies out of this concept. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> the Secret Life of Pets on May, on July 8th mm -hmm. from the makers of Despicable Me. I'm guessing it will do okay. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters, July 15th. Yes, it's all female leads. Yes. Calm down. <laughs> It's not a sequel, although the preview made it sound like it was a sequel. Yeah, but it's, it's hard not. To say, yeah. <laughs> Star Trek Beyond, July twenty second, the mm -hmm. third go around in the Abram Abrams verse. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is why the new TV series will not happen until next year. It really should have happened the fiftieth anniversary of Trek, which is twenty sixteen. But because of the weird setup between CBS and Paramount, there has to be six months between the movie coming out and the new TV series, which is why it's going to wait, have to wait until January 2017. Right. Now, but this isn't actually an Abrams movie, though, right? He but it's, it's, it's in it's his, in his, it's his universe, universe. But yeah. he didn't direct it or no. anything like that. No. So. Jason Bourne, July 29th. Damon, rinse, repeat. Yes. I mean, how many... They, they gave up on even putting numbers after it because it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or even putting anything, you know, it, tying it or a, a suffix. Jason Bourne, you know. Jason Bourne. That's you all know you need to know. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad Moms, July 29th. It says Mila Kunis and Kristen Bell. And Catherine Hahn. And Catherine Hahn, apparently. Yes, I like her. It is what it says. It's about bad moms, basically. Suicide Squad. That's August 5th. This is the superhero movie I'm most looking forward to. Margot Robbie, Will Smith, and a large cast. And it's going to be a much darker version. Now, this is this is where DC needs to go dark. Not yeah. Superman. <laughs> yeah. Suicide Squad, by definition, needs to be pretty dark. Yes. The Founder, August 5th. This is the counter-programming. Michael Keaton plays the founder of McDonald's, so yeah. it's a biopic. It's very early in the year for Oscar bait, so I'm guessing it may not be that good. Because otherwise, wouldn't you bring this out in November? Mm, yeah, I don't know. August 12th, Sausage Party. Hey, let's make an R-rated animated movie. All right, I know that you have a problem with this, <laughs> but let's think about... Alan Menken is doing the music. Yes. What else did he do the music for that we really like? Well, we like Galavant, sure. Galavant. That was certainly, if it would have been a movie, been made R-rated. I suppose. but Now, I think it is going to run into the prob the same problem that um, Deadpool ran into. Yes. And that is, parents are going to go in and say, oh, oh it's, it's animated. animated. It's a kid's movie. Yes. Yeah. Even much more than Deadpool would have. Yes. You're going to see five-year-olds at this, you know, in the theater. There's no question, you know... The mom's going to pull up the minivan. All the kids are going to go in. But at least you can then redirect them to Pete's Dragon. <laughs> That's true. Also on August 12th, I think good counter-programming, where Disney digs deep into the vault for this remake. Mm -hmm. uh, Pete's Dragon came out at the very tail end of the first iteration of Disney. It was the late 70s. It did not do very well. No. I'm personally waiting for the Million Dollar Duck sequel to come out. No, no, no. That darn cat! That darn cat! <laughs> August 19th, War Dogs, a comedic drama about U.S. weapons contractors with Jonah Hill. Another one that almost seems like if you're going for Oscar bait, you'd be later in the season. So uh, August 19th, August especially, for the most part, tends to be a dumping ground for yeah. the studios. Don't know if that's a good strategy, but uh, traditionally what it's been. And the last one, certainly a good indicator of <laughs> dumping the stuff at the end, Ben-Hur. <laughs> August 19th, when only the best stuff is scheduled. Yeah. A beat-for-beat -beat remake of the 1959 biblical epic and the 1907 biblical epic and the 1925 biblical epic, where Morgan, Morgan Freeman gets another paycheck. I can see that we'll be spending a little bit of time in the movie theaters this summer, if only for the superhero mu movies. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a, probably a few more I'll go see. Yeah. Because, you know, I won't be working. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and if you'd like to check out any of those movies with me, you can follow us right. online. But in the meantime, check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. 
Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a drink. I want popcorn!